outages to try to prevent brush fires. KTLA's Aaron Myers live in Fontana with the latest. Aaron, good morning. Good morning, Frank. Nearly 88,000 people could see their power shut off until late this afternoon. I'll have more on that in just a moment. But the winds here in Fontana, they have been blowing consistently. They've been strong all morning long. And take a look. This is what it looked like overnight as well. Halloween decorations getting whipped around, pretty much blown over. According to the National Weather Service, the winds could affect much of the Inland Empire, including the San Bernardino and Riverside County Valleys along with the San Bernardino County Mountains, Santa Ana Mountains, and Foothills. We could see winds from 15 to 25 miles per hour with gusts up to 45 miles per hour here. There is a wind advisory in place until 2 this afternoon. If you live around here, you get used to it, but um, yeah, it's pretty bad this morning. Just make sure the windows are closed and, uh, you know, cushions are put away in the backyard, that kind of thing. There's also a wind advisory for the Los Angeles and Ventura County Mountains until 3 this afternoon with gusts up to 45 to 50 miles per hour, maybe even stronger. And in Orange County, there's a wind advisory until 2 o'clock this afternoon for some areas with a chance of wind gusts reaching 55 miles per hour. These gusty winds could blow around unsecured objects, tree limbs could be blown down, and we could see a few power outages because of them. It's recommended to secure outdoor items and be careful driving, especially in those high profile vehicles. There is a chance that Thousands of Edison customers in LA, Orange, San Bernardino, and Ventura counties could lose power until 3 this afternoon. The possibility of these planned shutoffs due to the weather conditions, it's windy, dry, and will be warm, which has officials concerned about the potential for fires. Now back here live, if you want to see if you are in one of those areas that could possibly see uh, power shut off, you can go to SoCal Edison's website, which is sce.com. And of course, just be careful out there, especially on the roadways. Reporting live here in Fontana, I'm Marin Myers, KT. TLA 5 News. Yeah, okay. Thank you so much for that, Aaron. Governor Gavin Newsom stepping into the LA City Hall racism scandal. Some are questioning why he's just now calling for council members Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo to resign. KTLA's Selena Bovian live in Eagle Rock with more on that for us. Selena, good morning. Jessica, good morning. Well, two weeks ago, President Joe Biden called for the two council members, Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo, to resign. And the reason why Governor Gavin Newsom says he's been quiet on this scandal is because he says he really wanted to give them a chance to do the right thing. Here's a listen. Well, I think he should. I think they should. I think they should. I want to give them space, but I think they, I was very clear with Nuri that she did the right thing, and I think the others should do the same. Why did you want to give them space? I wanted to provide the opportunity for them to justify what they were said, what they said, and the opportunity to be transparent about what they said. And uh, so, we're hoping and uh, looking forward to announcements soon. Governor Newsom also said during that uh, interview that when P Council President Nuri Martinez resigned, he thought it was the right move. Governor Newsom making the remarks yesterday during a gubernatorial debate. During a brief moment, he discussed the two disgraced council members, Kevin DeLeon and Gil Cedillo. It has now been two weeks since the leaked audio, a racist closet, racist closet door conversation about their city council colleagues and the city's political redistricting process was made public. Since then, former Council President Nuri Martinez and Ron Herrera, a prominent local labor leader, have both resigned. Kevin DeLeon gave several interviews last week asking the public for forgiveness, but staying firm on his decision to stay in office. He claims his constituents elected him and the decision should be up to them. to resign on his own. The city council has already stripped De Leon of much of his power in an effort to pressure him to resign, but it has no authority to expel its members. Disclosure of the recording has been followed by days of public outrage and protests. Members of Black Lives Matter have been camping out outside De Leon's house in Eagle Rock for more than a week. They say they will not leave until he does. They say the council meetings in the meantime should be placed on hold. One activist telling us this morning he's surprised it took Newsom two weeks to make these remarks. It is late. Joe Biden came out before he did. Magic Johnson came out before he did. So uh, he is a little late, but his, his, uh, his call for their resignation uh, is welcome, just like all the calls throughout this city and throughout the country have been welcome. Uh, and the, the sense of it is that Kevin will not be able to be an effective legislator. 
And back out here live, this is Kevin DeLeon's neighborhood. These protesters have been camped out here now for 10 days. They have their tents, their chairs, their signs. And again, they say they will not leave until Kevin DeLeon leaves. That's the very latest. I'm Lena Berber reporting live in Eagle Rock, KTLA 5 News. Alina, thank you. Governor Newsom uh, debated his Republican challenger in the race for the governor's office, State Senator Brian Dolly, last night. It was their first and only debate, and the homeless crisis was a key topic. He throws money at everything, but what are the results? Exactly. What are the results? He spent $20 billion, $75,000 per homeless person, and we have 22,000 more. It is growing. Absolutely. We know the number. When I got here, there was no homeless strategy, no plan. No resources of any merit. Today there's $15.3 billion. There's a real strategy, real plan, and there's accountability for the first time. Another topic that came up, what some see as a potential Newsom run for the White House. The governor says he would serve his full four-year term if he's reelected in two weeks. A recent UC Berkeley poll shows 53% of likely voters plan to vote for Newsom. 32% say they support Dolly. The poll has a margin of error of plus or minus two and a half points. The election is two weeks from tomorrow. The latest assessment of how America's students are doing in the wake of remote learning during the pandemic shows a steep drop in math and reading skills. National Assessment Educational Progress, which surveys fourth and eighth graders, revealed its first results since the pandemic began. They show our particularly big drop in math skills. Just about a quarter of eighth graders were proficient. That is a 12% drop since 2019. Fourth graders did better at 36%, but still a drop from a previous 41%. Reading scores showed no sizable improvement with only a third of students being proficient. Lakers legend Magic Johnson could be in talk to acquire a minority ownership stake in the Las Vegas Raiders. Multiple reports say Johnson is assembling an ownership group to bid on a piece of the team. The Basketball Hall of Famer has been involved in sports ownership for years. He already owns a piece of the Dodgers. Before that, he owned a minority share of the Lakers. Earlier this year, Magic was part of a failed bid to buy the Denver Broncos. If you win tonight's Powerball drawing, you too could be rich enough to buy a stake in a sports team. The prize has climbed to $610 million with a cash value of $292 million. That's the eighth largest grand prize in the game's history. Chances of winning the jackpot, one in $292 million. million. The next drawing is for tonight. All right, let me figure it out. So this weekend we had 49 people in our pool. Yeah. Oh, did we win? I don't think we did not. We did not. In fact, win we didn't win anything yeah. in our two tickets. So what was it? Two hundred ninety two million. Yes. Uh, let me just figure it out. Two hundred ninety two million divided by let's say we have 50 people. Okay. This time. We each get get five point eight four million dollars. OK. I mean, is that enough for us? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. Yes. We'll yeah. Uh, we could buy uh, 10 of those mobile houses <laughs> with that kind of money. <laughs> Um, oh, just getting back to sports. Yes. A viewer uh, asked the question uh, that if they get Dodgers throw a Coca-Cola party, yes. will it attract Dan? Yes, they asked me that on Twitter. Yes. I bet it will. Yes, it will. And Polly will come, and Debbie will show up possibly Aunt Margaret, oh so it will attract ants. Oh, my gosh. I get it. Aunt Polly, yeah. Aunt Margaret. Very yeah, good. Yeah. Yes. There you go. <laughs> the humor just keeps coming. The yeah. hits. You know. Yeah. Is, yeah. Uh, set in 2017 wind advisory for the inland empire for the desert areas all of